Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at functions. So functions are a great way of grouping code together and when you call a function name it runs that code. So you could you know group let's say 20 lines of code that form some complex algorithm together and you could call that 10 times just using the function name and it'll be, the, it'll be effectively like having those two like 20 lines of code time by 10 so 200 lines of code but just just every single time you do that one line call you'll call all of that code other beauty is if you was to make a modification to the original function everywhere that function is getting called that will get updated so it helps reduce redundancy so to create a function it's easy it's keyword function and then we can you know, just call it hello this is going to print out hello and we need curly braces afterwards i mean parentheses after and curly braces here we're going to do something and say echo you can put many lines between these curly braces if you want and i'll say hello world so if i was to run that what do you think would happen nothing no error is because unless we call the method it won't ever get triggered so we need to put hello and that is it there we go it says hello world and if i was to do that again it says it twice so we can also create a function with parameters where we pass values in that makes the function a bit more dynamic so now let's create a function that actually adds two numbers together so i'm going to call this an adder um, we don't need the keyword function at the start so we're going to put curly braces in here i'm going to say result is equal to dollar and um, put dollar one so this is the first parameter that gets passed in uh, plus dollar two again that's the second parameter that gets passed in and i'm going to say echo um result is let's print out the variable dollar result okay so now if we call this we can call it by saying adder per space eight space ten so we separate the parameters by putting spaces other languages it might look something like this but it is slightly different in bash so just eight space ten so if i run that now we get result is 18 so that is pretty darn cool but you might not want to echo it out here you might just physically want to get the result so what you can do, so I'm going to actually comment the, this out. So I want to create another adder, so adder. But this adder, this time, is going to have the keyword function at the start. So this is going to state that it's going to basically going to return a value, depending on the way we call it. So I'm going to do all of this again, result, then I'm literally just going to echo back the variable result, usually that will print it out, but because we are going to call it like this, we are going to say value equals dollar, and then the actual, we put some brackets, then the actual function name, so adder. Then we put space, then the variable, so far, seven and six, let's say. And now, if, we, if I was just to run this, and let me comment this one out as well, just to prevent any confusion. And if I run that, nothing happens. It's because we need to call it. And we've called it, but the value stored in value, even though we put an echo here, so this echo just says return it. And if I say echo, dollar value now that returns 7 plus 6 which is 13 and again you can format this the way you want to say yo this value this value of is epic and if i was to run that now yo this value of set 13 is epic so that is how you create functions a regular function with no parameters passed in, nothing returned, then a function with parameters passed in, and then a function that has parameters passed in and returns something. I want you as an extra task to figure out how to create a function that returns a value but doesn't have values passed in. 
little hint it's to do with this or the lack of it so that is it for this video if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video